Hey everyone, in this problem we are asked to find how long it takes for the nerve impulse to reach your brain after you've stubbed your toe. So basically what this is saying is, if you want to draw a fun little diagram of a person, it's basically asking for the time it takes for a nerve impulse to travel from the bottom of you up to your brain, so to travel this distance d. Now we can figure this out using the speed formula because we're given the speed of the impulse. And the speed formula states that the speed of something is equal to the distance it travels divided by the amount of time it took to reach that. Now we are asked to estimate how long it takes, which means that we are trying to solve this equation for t. We're looking for the amount of time. Now you might notice from this equation that we need to have the d, we need to have the distance to figure this out. But uh, that's not given to us in the problem, which means we get kind of free reign to choose something, choose whatever we want, uh, based on the way the problem's phrased. I think you are personally expected to choose whatever your height is and find a value for that, which makes it kind of hard to compare your answer to something else, but to, to a correct answer. But fortunately, this is a fairly simple problem. All we really need to do is take this equation and algebraically solve it for t. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by t to cancel it out. And then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by v so we can get the t variable on its own when the v's cancel out. And what we end up with is a formula telling us that the amount of time is equal to the distance traveled by the pulse divided by the speed at which the pulse travels. This is given to us. So all we need to do is choose a d value. Uh, for me personally, I would look this up and the average height of a person, of, of a man, is about 1.7 meters and the average height of a woman is closer to 1.6, I believe. I don't think it matters that much because when we have problems where we're doing estimating, we usually just want to round to one significant figure with our final answer anyways. Because when we have problems where we're doing an, we're, when we have problems where we know we're doing an estimation, we're, we're pretty much going into it knowing that we can't get a lot of precision anyway. So I'm just going to pick a value. Uh, I'm just going to say 1.7 meters, and divide it by the speed we're given, 100 meters per second. And if you put this into your calculator. Um, in fact, you don't even need to put this into your calculator because if we're dividing by a power of 10, then all we can then really this is just a matter of moving the decimals around, and we just end up with a value of 0 0.017 seconds. And this is a valid answer, but based on the way the answer key I've seen for the uh, I've been given an answer key for this problem, and based on the way they write their answer, and just based on the way that estimations usually done, it's usually considered good practice to round this to only one significant figure. So I'm going to round this from 0 0.017 to 0 0.02 seconds. And I think this is a much better answer than anything we would get from uh, more specific, more precise values, because we are just looking for an estimation as the problem states it. And really, that's all you got to do for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as it'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video, or you'd just like to hang out, my Discord server and my Twitch page are both linked in the description below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye bye